with Sarah here, and today we have our third project from Osmo. And our first one was Osmo Hot Girls Mind Racers. Me and my brother did that. The second one was Osmo Osmo Monster Jam, and my brother did that. And the third one is Osmo Creative Kit, and I'm gonna do this. And this includes with three games: it's Monster, Masterpiece, and Newton. We're gonna be focused on focusing on Monster today. And what comes in this besides these three games are the stand that if you saw the other videos, it comes, it mirrors, and then the whiteboard, and the markers, and this pouch. So let's get started. Okay, so we've already played Monster a bit, but now in the gallery, there's just this things that you've already didn't done before. Like this is an adventure that I did, and then my brother did an adventure too. And this is just like a show with bad drawings. And we're gonna, and, oh, and he can also talk in Spanish. So let's play. Okay. Let's see. So what's he doing, Sam? Uh, he's in our room that we made. Oh, you're back. Ready to imagine? And let's see what he says. What do you want to do? Let's see what he wants to do. We can go to bed. Redraw the room, or explore the house. All right, let's explore the house. Did you draw these pictures? Yeah, we draw and draw that and that. An adventure. Redraw the All right, door. let's go on an adventure. Explore the house. Okay, adventure. Here we come. Before we can start our adventure, we need to pick where we are going to go. Would you like to go? All right. Let's see where he wants us to go. An Arctic, Arctic? a jungle, jungle, or an underwater adventure. Which one? Is um, it? underwater. Let's do underwater. All right. Let's go underwater. Ah, good choice. Okay. With you at the lead, our adventure is sure to succeed. We need a bathing suit. Now, to have a proper <laughs> adventure, let's see. we are going to need some scenery. Could you clear the board and draw a bubble? A bubble. A bubble. That's going to be tricky. I'm going to draw a bubble. It's easy. Alright, you got a nice size bubble. <laughs> Alright, Seb, so let's see. What did you draw? So I drew this bad bubble. But every time that this mirror sees something on the board, it'll go into the game once I press OK. And the red thing is just going to mirror down to see this. And this part's tricky. he's gonna pull it up. And there's our bubble. It uh, looks exactly the same as that. That's cool. Now, as do you, you have to see. draw the bubble a certain size, or does it not matter? It doesn't matter, but if you like draw like something like over here, it probably won't see it because like this mirror can't like read like all the way over here. Okay, so you but should really draw in the middle. Like in the middle, yeah. Well, perhaps together we can find one. Hey, what do you say? Could you clear the board and draw the ferocious? Whale. Oh, whale. Draw a whale now. All right, good luck with that one, Seb. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's gonna be hard. At the top of the screen, it suggests what how to draw a whale, and that's just a basic way of drawing a whale. That I'm probably unless you're an artist like Sebby, then you don't need any help. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how's it coming? Pretty bad. That's all right. You gotta start somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> And said ferocious, so it has to have a crown. All right. So ferocious means what? Mean? I don't know. Evil? <laughs> We're not sure. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see. So now you push the OK button, it's going to appear on the screen. Perfect. Yep. It's exactly as I always pictured it. There we go. Okay. Last, before we set out on our grand adventure, we should pack something for the journey. Okay. Let's see. What, what do you think we should bring? A cane or an apple? Or is that a candy cane? <laughs> uh, well, let's see. If you're setting out on a trip, what do you think you might need? Food. All right. So let's do let's the go apple. Nice choice. Okay. Could you clear the board and draw an apple? An apple. All right. I think you can handle that. I hope. And again, there's the sample picture if you wanted to draw the apple. Pretty good. Could be an apple, could be a tomato, a pumpkin. <laughs> Just teasing. It's an apple. Everyone always loves. Oh, 
there you go. <laughs> See, that's Jay Apple. There you go. All right. Thanks. Now onwards towards adventure. So the adventure is continuing right now, and the adventure is basically 20 minutes in total if you played the whole thing. And we're not going to do that. We're just going to show like a bit, one minute more, and then we're going to be done. It's not a puffer fish. It's all puffer fish? Okay. This is gonna be hard. What do you think a puffer fish is? It's pointy things that like. Can hurt you? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a porcupine? Mm hmm. There we go. Underwater. Right, exactly. An underwater porcupine. I wonder if it really makes those noises. There we go. So here's the whale. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> They're gonna have a little dance party. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. See, it doesn't really matter what age you are. It's still kind of cool because you don't know what's mm -hmm. gonna happen next. So even though Monsters for Ages 4 to 9, it's still pretty fun for me and my brother and sometimes my parents to play. And it's just kind of cool to see what, like, to actually draw the pictures and to see what happens on each adventure mm -hmm. since we've never played all of them. Okay, so I don't know how much adventures and stories and houses there are in this game, but it goes on and on, and we're just going to keep on playing. Alright, so please leave a like, subscribe, do this fun stuff. Peace out. Bye.